guys welcome back to the channel it is saturday and it is rainy af in dallas here today super rainy uh, i had to actually run some errands this morning get some work done on my fiance's car and my uh shoes that i'm wearing my shoes and socks are completely like it's it's like i jumped in a lake or something and then got out they're completely soaked but that's what i'm wearing for the day so good start to our uber eats day <laughs> Uh, good news is it's Saturday and uh, rain is typically pretty darn good for business. So uh, let's clock in, get started, make some money. Perfect. So uh, as soon as I clocked in, got an order for Jersey Mike's, went to pick it up, and as soon as I clicked that I had picked it up, I instantaneously got another delivery offer for Da Lot, a Vietnamese food place pretty close by. So I got a feeling this is gonna be a really busy afternoon. I have been on the clock about 35 minutes and I have already picked up and completed two orders and filled up my gas tank and I am headed to pick up another order right now. Uh, this day is awesome right now. Let's just hope it stays this way. Right, so we just picked up at a restaurant called Haystack for Chad. Put it right here, ready to go. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this off and hopefully it'll stay busy and we'll keep getting these awesome orders. and the day moves on so we are about an hour and a half in right now and I just picked up my fifth delivery it has not stopped uh, that actually includes a pretty long wait at my last pickup at a, a place called Shell Shack uh, but anyway I just picked up from Rody Grill in uh, uptown and we're headed down to uh, Zang Boulevard gonna make a drop off there and probably head back into this part of town Dropped off a super quick little order from Gloria's Latin Cuisine. Uh, it took me about two minutes to get to the restaurant, and then um, one minute to pick up the order, and about five minutes to deliver it to the customer. So less than ten minutes, made a quick six bucks, and uh, you know whatever they tip as well. So currently, I've been working for pretty much exactly two hours, and we're at sixty-two bucks so far with three of those orders that have not yet tipped. So damn good day. So I just picked up an order at a really nice steakhouse called Del Frisco's. Uh, when I arrived, one of the menu items, uh, the hostess was telling me we don't have that item on our menu currently, so I can either take it off her bill and not charge her for it, or if you want to give her a call, uh, let her know, see what else she wants. Uh, in many cases, I would have elected to call the customer and ask them uh, what they would like instead, you know, explain the situation and say, hey, this is what they have. However, the uh, most expensive uh, menu item, the steak, was already ready and it was sitting there hot but not under any kind of a warmer and if they elected to get new menu items then that would mean that that item would have uh, gotten cold and rapidly deteriorated in quality they probably paid 40 or 50 bucks or more for that steak so in this case I elected to say remove it from her bill I'm gonna go ahead and take it to her and um, you know if she has any questions then I'll let her know what happened So we just dropped off an order from a place called Jia uh, Modern Chinese. And uh, we're down at the Highland Park area of Dallas. Uh, really, really fancy, super expensive part of town. Um, just dropped off an order to a very nice lady who gave me a $10 cash tip. So basically, including that, right now, I've been at this just under three hours, like two hours and 55 minutes, and we're at $108 so far. So. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, nice busy Saturday. Let's keep going. And the craziness continues. We got double stacks. Just picked up a sushi order at Little Katana. 
and an Indian food order at Rody Grill. And we're going to take both of those right now. So I know I keep making these little videos talking about, oh, this is how much I've earned so far. I can't believe it. Like legitimately though, um, I know money with Uber Eats can be pretty good. I've been doing it for about a year and a half, uh, you know, fairly regularly. Um, I consider a good day generally to be 25 to $30 an hour. Uh, right now, I've been working for exactly four hours. I made $166. So basically just over 40 bucks an hour for the last four hours. Um, it's not a holiday or anything like that. It's just a Saturday and it's rainy and business is crazy. So yeah, uh, like normally I'd be about happy to stop right now, call it a day, but shoot, I mean, it's only eight o'clock. Normally I work until about 10. So we'll see how the next couple hours treats us. All right, so I've been at this four hours and 45 minutes made 190 bucks uh, and then I have two orders that I haven't tipped yet and they may not but um, every other order has today so it's likely they will anyway long story short I'm calling it a night hey guys Sunday morning here look at my activity from yesterday uh, you can see I made $188.15 I'm not sure why it's not showing my uh, time online but uh, so I don't know what the exact amount of time clocked in was, but I can tell you that from the time I started till the time I decided to go home, it was about four hours and 45 minutes. So essentially that comes out to $39.61 per hour uh, for that four hour and 45 minute time window that I worked, which is uh, $188 is not the most I've ever made on Uber in a day, but that is the most I've ever made in that short of an amount of time. I mean, uh, you know, 40 bucks an hour, that's, I mean, that's like New Year's Eve money here in Dallas. So I don't know what was going on yesterday, just being a rainy Saturday, but it's a hell of a good day. Just shows you what's possible if the conditions and the uh, location are right.